What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, we kind of uh, did our business right here. You know, we went straight into the Lily Cove uh, Team Aqua, what was it, hideout, yeah? And now it is finally time for us to actually move on right here. Go straight to Monsty, because, you know, it's been a while. It has been a while, and, well, as always, we do need, uh, what was it called, uh, Super Repel, because... We we do not we do not want to get attacked by anybody right here, it, well any Pokemon except for people because well you know we do need the people for experience points and all that stuff you know what I mean guys so let's go right ahead and try and get this whole double battle going now I kind of want to use the dream team right here of Raiden and and Sage and there we oh damn it come on. So, yes, of course, there's this person right here looking at us. I cannot believe it. All right, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here with the Gyarados. That is pretty awesome right there. And just like that, we defeated Declan. That's a pretty cool name, Declan. Take on this girl, and she's growing bored of battling. So there we go. And there goes another battle right there. Sage of the Halo. Kicking some butt, taking some names. All righty. Let's move on right here. Now, of course, Hoenn is very, very famous for all its waters. You can actually surf in and all that stuff. Now you will eventually find a uh, a nice square, dark scare, dark, dark blue area right here. That right there will involve uh, what was it called? Uh, it will involve uh, a, a an HM that you will eventually get on, but it won't be until after you actually win the first uh, or the, you win the seventh badge. So let's go right ahead and start beating everybody right here. And here we go, Leaf Blade. For the win, there we go, Hadouken level 42, let's go with the Raiden right here, Shockwave for the win, and look at that, that's how you do it right there. Okay, so, now that we're surfing, I say we should probably, we should probably go everywhere and just start beating everybody, just so we can power up our Pokemon now. The majority of my team does have, uh, what was it called, uh, R at level 40. I know that I am trying to get a Hadouken to level 50. That way, we can actually get we can actually get that Dragon type Pokemon we've been talking about. Now, here we go, Wilmer, ready to go. And well, here we go, Sage of the Halo, taking some more taking some more lives and all that stuff. And just like that, she is going to register us in her Pokemon because yes, we are that good looking. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue on right here again dark spots you will eventually find a few things now if you go right here this is hunter's house you will eventually start finding some shards around the area this guy right here is like I'm a dry or I'm a diving treasure hunter I'm the awesome dude who makes a uh, makes deep sea dives to gather dra treasures resting at the bottom you haven't got lots of treasures for me if you see shards like red shard you got to trade them with me and if, I believe if you like, I believe if you trade him some shards, he will give you some elemental stones. And, uh, yeah, that, that right there um, will be needed eventually if you got some other Pokemon that you actually want to uh, go for. Now, we're going to be uh, battling so many more people right here. So many more. Let's go right ahead and just, you know, take care of the envious people right here. Okay. So, here we go. Taking on the swimmers, Roland and uh, Isabella right here. So let's go ahead and use our moves. Win. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And yes, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. I believe Raiden is close to level 40. That is pretty awesome right there. And well, let's see what else we can actually find right here. Oh, nothing. Except uh, this little pathway right here, which we'll, uh, we will eventually explore. And well, let's go right ahead and use more super repels because we do not need any of these. Uh, these Pokemon attacking us, so let's see. We are close to Moss Deep City. And, well, actually we are in Moss Deep City. Let's go right ahead and visit Moss Deep City first. And then, you know, take care of the other stuff right here. And, well, let's go ahead and, well, this guy wants to battle us, I guess. No, actually, this guy is like, I can't do this anymore! It's utterly hopeless. I'm a fighting type trainer, so I can't win the Moss Deep Gym, no matter how hard I try. Huh. Punch, 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 punch! What? Don't look at me that way. I'm only hitting the ground. Or do you want me to teach you a Pokemon, or teach your Pokemon Dynamic Punch? That right there will be saved for later on, because Dynamic Punch, as many of you guys already know, it is a very inaccurate move, but it does leave some confusion and all that stuff. Now, 
If you talk to this guy, he's like, ah, it feels great letting the waves wash over my feet. Speaking of the waves, you know that the island city is Utopolis. I think the gym there, or the gym there has a brand new leader come in. People tell me, tell me the new leader once mentored Wallace. Hmm. Yeah, don't say. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we are in Moss Deep City. Not too big. It's, you know, it is what it is. The gym leaders right here, the gym leaders right here are psychic type trainers. And, uh, well, this person's talking about a secret place. And you should make a secret place. I'll go find it. He will eventually find it. And then, what else? What else? Oh, yes. This house right here. You go inside this one. You're going to see that it's pretty empty. You look at this collection right here. And it's a collection of red rocks and stones assembled by Steven. This right here is Steven's house. Now, originally, I wanted to use the... I wanted to use the Beldum from either Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. I wanted to trade it straight right here to use it part of my team. But as many of you guys already know, I do have a psychic type Pokemon. I didn't really see I didn't really see the whole like, you know, I didn't really see the whole mixture of this Pokemon team. Plus many of you guys would probably say, "Oh, you guys you got a uh, pseudo legendary Pokemon. It's not fair." I don't know. I don't want that complaint on me. So, you come into this house right here and he's like, "Hmm. You're Sceptile. It likes red Pokeblocks, doesn't it? No, I'm positive of it. It definitely likes red Pokeblocks. So, if you talk to this guy, he automatically knows he automatically knows what Pokeblocks uh, your Pokemon likes. Uh, as you guys can see, my main Nectric likes pink Pokeblocks. And, well, if, if you got any kind of Pokemon, that you want to use, if you got any Pokemon that you want to use for Pokemon contests, or let's just say you got a Feebas, and you want to evolve it through beauty, this is the guy to go in order to increase your increase your, your beauty, your conditions, and all that stuff. Now, talk to this one, and she's going to be like, my husband can tell what kind of Pokeblocks your Pokemon likes at a glance. Huh, oh, really? You don't say. Okay, so, let's see. What else is there here? This house... I believe it was this house that always confused me. I don't know. Yeah. This house always confused me in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire because this one right here is like, you know, it wasn't really uh, clear on what, 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 what secrets had lied. But right here, if you talk to this guy, he's like, I can explain the game rules for you if you'd like. Which one would you, uh, which should, should I describe? As you guys can see, this place right here is the location where you can play the Pokemon Jump and the Dodrio Berry Picking. Same thing, kind of like in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, where, you know, you go to, I believe, the three islands. So, yeah, that's pretty much something that I, yeah, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much something right there. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on. Explore the place right here. If you talk to this guy, all life needs to see it to live, even though it makes it home for the land. Life is having a... Our life having run its course because soil it returns to the land and the sea is always connected to the land yes like the very short line here hmm. didn't really make sense but okay and if you go right here here we found ourselves a netball which is very very well effective for any kind of bug type Pokemon I believe water type Pokemon and oh my god so here's Scott and he's gonna be like this Draven feeling good I'm doing great I'd heard Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to come take a look see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going on about the warning letter and, and the space center. I don't think it concerns any uh, concerns me in any uh, any way though. Oh well, and he's walking away. Apparently there is a there is a warning around here now. Let's see if you talk to this chick. This rock has a special meaning to the people of the space center. They put it there for to wish for or as their wish for their rock and supply safely. When you make a wish, what do you what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I used a wish tag. Uh, I used a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. Hmm, a wish tag. And here is the white rock. Now let's see. Let's see. Wouldn't it be nice if the whole world was covered in plants and flowers in the island? Yes, it would be. I thought she would be giving me a berry. And here is this gentleman. He's like, a voyage on the ship is fine, but crossing the sea with the Pokemon uh, using surf. Now that's an exhilarating trip, wouldn't you agree, youngster? Yes, it is. Okay. What else can we find here? Oh yeah, this guy. 
Hey there, trainer. A super rod is really super. Say all you all you want, but is uh, but this baby can catch Pokemon off the seafloor. What do you think? You want it, don't you? Yes, I do. So here we are, getting ourselves a super rod, which will enable us to get ourselves like you know better Pokemon, such as Whalmer. I think Carvana. Maybe Sharpedo. You know those those kinds of rare Pokemon and all that stuff. And well, let's see. I believe there's something else that we can actually find right here. I think in Pokemon uh, Ruby and Sapphire, you don't really see the rockets right behind here. Look at this. We can be right behind there. Eventually, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and uh, Omega Ruby, they, they make a little bit more of a kind of improvement of this place right here. But I'm trying to find an item, and there is nothing. Okay, so let's go straight into the rocket uh, or the space center and. Well, would you look at that? We're going to be finding Steven Stone. He's like, Draven, have you read the, pro uh, the proclamation already? Team Magma is coming after the rocket fuel on this island. I don't know what they or I don't know what they do. Uh, they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye out for things for a, w a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? Hmm. Okay. All right. Now I think there is somebody right here that can actually give you an item. Let's see. Oh yes, this person will give you a sunstone. Yes, that is an evolutionary stone that you know will help some Pokemon like you know Gloom and what was it? What was it? Uh, Sunkern, I believe. Yes. Anywho, let's go right ahead. Not go to the gym. Let's go right ahead to the backside of Moss Deep City and let's get to battling some more Pokemon. Let's see. What kind of Pokemon can we actually find? Let's go! Right here, and let's go right ahead and go with the Super Potion, or Super Repel. And let's go right ahead and go straight into Route 150 or 125, and you're going to be finding a lot of Pokemon right here. So, or Pokemon Trainers. This person, of course, will have a lot of water types. So, let's go right ahead and beat Sharon with a Shockwave, and bam, there you go. Sharon has been defeated. And well, what else can we actually find? Oh, her. Yes. You will be finding a lot of trainers right here. So make sure if you guys want to train your Pokemon before the Monster Deep City Gym, yeah, this is the place to go. And well, let's go against a, a Love Disc. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, you can use a Super Potion for Love Disc too. Best thing for must, uh, for Love Disc is if you use Thief. That way you can get yourself some heart, heart scales. And there we go. Yes. Alrighty. Bring it on. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so here we go. Take it on the bird keeper and an expert, and they're gonna be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon, Trompius and Magnectric. And well, it, it would seem that we got the sim, the same kind of Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Vesuvius. I haven't seen you in quite some time. And leaf cutter for this guy right here. So let's go ahead and switch it, or let's go right ahead and do this, and let's go straight for a rock slide, and let's go for a surf attack, that's right. And yes, we're getting roared out of our minds right here, so there we go. And, oh wow, this guy's got a Machamp. So this right here actually puts up another page in our, in our Pokedex, so let's go right ahead, go with uh, this guy right here, and there we go, and just like that we defeated another Pokemon. And, well, let's go with that. And let's go with that right there. And look at this, we're getting some more experience points. And just like that, Sage grows to level 41. And bam! Hadouken, he's getting some points. He's about to, you know, he's about to do some stuff right here. And well, let's go right ahead and take a look at Hadouken. Of course we got him at level, at level 43 right now. You need seven more levels in order to evolve, and I do have four rare candies. If you guys remember, we had three that we actually stored into the PC, including the one that we found, I believe, in the Magma Team Magma, in the Team Magma hideout. So, let's see, what else can we actually find? We can't. We're gonna save those rare candies for Hadouken. That way, we can actually evolve them, and then just you know go ahead and start training the rest of our team. Because as many of you guys already know. It gets a lot tougher towards the very end right here. I want to have these Pokemon nice and leveled up. Now, let's go right ahead and see what this is. Get ourselves a big pearl. And bam. Okay, so let's go ahead and start surfing around right here. 
Okay, alrighty, so let's see what we got. Okay, so you can find some secret bases right here, some more trainers. Remember, eventually, you will be able to find yourself another secret area, depending on what, uh, what the status is. Another secret area where you can actually find either, I want to say, Groudon or Kyogre. But that all depends on what happens later on because, well, they're kind of like roaming Pokemon in a sense. Kind of. And there we go. Look at this. Okay, so Horsey has been defeated. And well, look at that. Hadouken getting some points. And bam. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on right here. I think we got some more trainers that we can actually beat. And yes, we're going to get it. Yeah, we're going to get it called by Dylan. And yes, I do not want to battle you. And, well, I kind of want to see something right here. The match call. How many Pokemon trainers want to battle us now? Let's see. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three, four. Five. Six, seven. Eight. Wow, we got quite a few people wanting to battle us. So, yes, we can actually battle these guys anytime these Pokeball icons appear. On top of it all, it actually... <laughs> It actually, it actually shows you how many uh, number of battles we got right here. As you guys can see, we've won 286 battles. Yes, I am that great. And, well, let's go in and go for 287 right here. With this big boy right here, he's going to be like, Ahoy! I'm a buff and tough trainer, or sailor. I brave the world seas. Did you? Did you? Okay. Let's go right ahead. And take on Urs right here. Shockwave for the win. He's coming out with a Machoke. And we're going to go with Dalsim right here. Eventually, we're going to have to teach Dalsim a Psychic type move just to prevent this stuff. And, well, there it is. There it is. Say goodbye to Ernest. And, of course, he's going to register you to the Poke, uh, the Poke now right here. Alrighty. So, let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty. So, let's see. We got more trainers right here. And I heard you were approaching, so I hung around for you. Did you? Did you really? Okay. So, let's go right ahead and take on Nolan. And yes, coming out with a tentacle. Look at that. Tentacruel defeated. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So, let's see. What else can we actually find right here? Another secret base area. And, well, I believe that right there will lead us into the, sh uh, the shore? The shell? The shell cave? Or shoal cave? Yeah. The Shoal Cave. I can't even pronounce that right. So let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon. Let's go with Joust. All the way, all the way to the bottom. And let's go right ahead and take this guy on, or these chicks. Gotta love the double battle right here. So here we go. Let's go right ahead and see. Senior and Junior, Kim and I just want to battle. And they're going to be coming out with some pretty nice Pokemon. Swab Blue and Numil. Let's go right ahead and do this. And do that okay and just like that we win that's right easy battle okay so let's go into the shoal cave i believe that's what it is so as many of you guys already know the shoal cave depends on what time you're actually you know what time of the day you're in we got the low tide and that is actually surprising because well you know we never really really get the shoal, the the low tide of so what's going to happen is Hmm. What's going to happen is I'm going to try and get the, the high tide in order to get uh, the the shell the the shell the shell bell. Yeah, I think that's what it is right there. But now that we got low tide, let's go ahead and take advantage of this because we will be finding some uh, some areas right here that that is only a well that we can only find in the uh, the the low tide. As you guys can see right here, homeboy is asking for shoal salts and shoal shells. Yeah, it's trying to say that four times. You bring him, bring him four of those, he's going to actually make a good ingredient and get you a shell bell. So let's go ahead, take advantage of this whole thing right here, and not find anything. Eventually, you're going to find yourself a secret area where you can find some ice-type Pokemon. And you know what? I think I'm going to try and do that right now. So I, I don't know if I have any Pokemon with... with uh, I don't know if I have any Pokemon with whatchamacallit uh, with, with strength. I probably do. Okay, so let's see. There's the shoal shells. Shoal salts are right here. Okay. Try saying those four times in a row. And, well, let's go right ahead and grab this item. Look at it. We got ourselves a nice heal. And let's go right here. Shoal salt. Shoal salt. 
And, well, let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go right ahead and get into this area right here. And, let's see, grab this. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. And, bam. Okay, so we are in another area right here. Eventually, you're going to find yourself some ground-type Pokemon. Right horns are one of them. And then some some of the usual uh, cave Pokemon like like uh, Zubat, hell even even Geodude, and this guy right here. My battle, you know. You go right here, found yourself a Shell Salt, and well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. The penetrating cold around these parts is an impediment or is an imped impediment to training, but the focus one can overcome. With the focus band, buckle down and withstand the cold. And here it is. We got ourselves a focus band, which, you know, it actually helps out in battle. Now, here is where we're going to need a Pokemon with strength. And yes, we do have a Pokemon with strength. So let's go right ahead and use Dalsim's stretchy arms right here. And this will lead to the bottom floor. And look at this. We are in the coldest part of the Shoal Cave. This right here is where you're going to be finding some pretty interesting Pokemon, some ice type Pokemon. And, well, let's see if I can get through this puzzle right here. You guys already remember, like, the, the hours we took to actually go through a an ice uh, labyrinth right here. So there we go. And right here. And look at that. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I kind of screwed up right there, but no worries. Let's see. Let's go right up here. Down here. And... Let's see, what about right here? Look at that, okay. Crap baskets, okay, so that's not the right thing to do. You see, the time the time we took to actually finish this off, and look at this, yes. Grabbed ourselves the TM7, and that is hail. And okay, so my repel has worn off, so I'm gonna try and get attacked by one of these Pokemon right here, because I am actually looking for these, uh, I'm actually looking for the, this specific Pokemon and all that stuff. Believe it or not, I actually wanted to actually use this Pokemon on my team. It's pretty cool looking and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and see what this Pokemon is all about. No, not the right Pokemon. Okay, don't need you. And, well, let's go right ahead. And, let's see. Which way to go again? Oh yeah, right here. Okay, oh crap. Okay, let it be the right Pokemon. Come on. And, well, here's one of the Pokemon you can actually find, and this is a Spiel. Spiel, of course, is a water and ice type Pokemon. Has some pretty good stats. And I'm gonna try and capture it. Let's see how many Pokeballs I have. Okay. I have plenty, so let's see what happens right here. Yes, we are trying to... Yeah, we are trying to fill up this Pokedex right here. And just like that, we caught ourselves a Spiel. Not bad. Okay. And, well, this is going to be going right here, and here we have Spiel the Clap Pokemon. It is completely covered with plushy fur. As a result, it never feels the cold even when it's rolling around in the ice flows or diving into the sea. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, we're not going to give this Pokemon a nickname, but we're going to be sending it straight to the PC. And, well, let's see. Still trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, so there we go. Crap baskets right here. And, well, let's see. Now, here is the biggest one. How do we get there? <laughs> oh, crap baskets. Okay, let's see. Nothing right there. Okay, so that's a gold bat. There is a Pokemon here that I really, really want to get. Just because, you know, it's... Just because it's part of this location. And, you know, you don't really get too many chances to get to the low flow of the Shoal Cave. So, let's see. Hmm, hmm. Let's see. How do I do this? Huh. Of course, I'm doing this on purpose just to get attacked by these Pokemon. And it's still not the Pokemon I want. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Okay. I think I know. Let's see. Right here, right here, right here. And look at that. Voila! And, well, not the Pokemon we got. So let's get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. Nothing right here. Let's see, what about, what about this? Oh, yes. We're going to get ourselves a Never Melt Ice. That right there powers up any Ice-type Pokemon moves. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else right around here? And there is nothing. Okay. 
So... There is a Pokemon I want to actually find and get. So I'm going to speed it up just a little bit and find this Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we've been looking for this sucker right here. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Snowrunt. This is a Pokemon that you can actually find in this area right here on the low tide. Now, yes, I know what you're thinking. It's a female. Remember, this is Generation 3. Male and females can actually evolve into Glalie eventually. And, uh, of course, I'm just trying to capture this Pokemon without anything. But, yes, eventually in Generation 4, going into Pokemon... What was it? Platinum, Chris, uh, Platinum Diamond, and Pearl... Female snow runs are enabled to evolve into Gla uh, what, what was it called? Uh, Glalie or Glalass or what was it called? <laughs> I can't I can't remember all these Pokemon's names, but there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a snow run. Again, sorry about not remembering all these Pokemon's names. It's been a while, guys. So here we have snow run. The snow have Pokemon. They tend to move about in groups of uh, around five snow run. In snow regions, it is said that it is said when they. They see they are seen late at night. Snowfall will arrive by the morning. That is pretty cool right there. And well, we're gonna send that Pokemon straight into the Pokemon uh, into the PC. Okay, let us continue right here, guys. Let's see. Uh, last, lastly, I can't even remember these Pokemon's names. Okay, so now that we've captured these Pokemon, let's go right ahead and just put on a Super Repel because we don't need any of this. Uh, any of this mess right here. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna try and figure out the name of the of the uh, Pokemon that I forgot because yes, Draven, you're what? You're 32 years old. <laughs> you're forgetting everything. That's probably the CT. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead, move on, and well, let's go right here, 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 and here, here. Obviously, I don't really remember where we're going. Let's go right here, 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 and here, and look at that, we're here. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and push this out of the way. And let's move on into the secondary cave right here. Let's see. Alrighty, so enough of that. Now we're, we can actually get ourselves quite a few more things. As you guys can see, we are unable to reach the, the shoal shell, or the, yeah, the, the shoal shells. And, well, there it is. We got ourselves one. Another one. How many did they say to get? Three or four? Let's see, how many do we have? Uh, we got three. So I'm only thinking that we got one more or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Let's go right ahead and use another Super Repel right here. And, well, let's go. Oh, there it is. Look at that, we got our fourth Shoal Shalt, Shoal Salt, can't even pronounce that right. And we're gonna be going back here. And this one will lead us right up back here. And I don't think there's anything, I don't think there's anything else that we could actually do right here except for just like going up and down right now. Huh. Yeah, we've already been here. So, High tide are at certain times right here. I gotta, I gotta take a look at this whole thing right here. And well, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And thankfully, we got into this whole uh, what you might call it the the whole low tide that and that never happens. If you guys remember Pokemon Emerald, the the original one, I went straight for high tide every single time. So I'm gonna pause it right here for right now. Give me just a sec because I kind of want to see something and that way we can actually get the most out of this episode. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so it looks like it actually works right now. I did change the time onto my computer. It is 11 a.m. and uh, well, take a look at this. We are in high tide. Okay, so this is the Shoal Cave in high time. Thank you Arceus because, well, we needed to complete this. Uh, we never really got to do that in po in the original Pokemon Emerald walkthrough, but in High Tide, you can see, yes, we are going to be swimming around with the fishies and all that stuff, and now we are going to be enabled to grab, uh, whatchamacallit, some show shells. Yeah, show shells, show shells, and so on, all that stuff. Can't even pronounce it, but look at this. We can't find anything, and I don't know, I do not know uh, if five uh, super repels are going to work right here, but... Let's go right ahead and not go right there. Let's see. There's an entrance right there. That there was the entrance right here. I wonder what's right here. Yes, this is probably the exit. And 
Damn it. Okay, so anywho, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here and find ourselves some show shells because we need them. Because uh, this next battle is going to be something fun. It's going to be something very, very fun. So here we are in the Shulk Cave, and now we are going to be moving around right here. I'm going to be pre pressing this whole thing right here. And look at that. Okay, so we're going to be finding some of the steps, and look at this. We found ourselves a Shulk Cell. And remember, we do have to get four of each, and... Of course, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon because, well, you know, Pokemon are Pokemon. And, yes, we will be able to find Spiels. Level 32 right here, this one is. And, well, let's see, let's see. Let's get the heck out of here because we do not want any of that smoke right there. And, uh, let's go ahead and use this as Super Repel right now. And, no, we're not going to be able to get the Pokeball right there. So, let's go right ahead. And, uh, whatchamacallit, just move around right here. And look at this, another shell shell. And, uh, there we go. Now, the funny thing is, I figured out the name of the Pokemon that, uh, Snow Run, the female Snow Runs evolved to. Frostlass! Yes, Frostlass. Yes, good old Draven is getting a little old, <laughs> and he's forgetting a lot, so leave me alone, guys, seriously. <laughs> oh my god. And, well, let's see. Let's see, let's go right here. And go right here, and we're going to be finding this Pokeball right here. Finding ourselves our fifth rare candy, and I'm almost tempted of giving all these rare candies to good old buddy, our buddy uh, Hadouken right here, and I think this is what? Number three, number four? It could be number four. And, well, let's see. I would like to check this bottom portion down right here. So, let's go right ahead and see what we got. Nothing. Okay. Of course, you'll be able to fish around for a lot of stuff. And, let's see. What if we go right up here? Shoshel, Shoshaltz, 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 You know, you can say all that stuff. You cannot pronounce it. So, let's go right ahead and do that. And, look at that. Okay, number four. Easy. Look at that. Okay, so it looks like to me that we have completed it. So, let's see. I think the only thing we need to do now is go straight to the old guy so he can make us a shoshell or shell shell or I don't even know, guys. You know, it's a lot of sha sha sha. And bam, here we are. And bam, we found ourselves another big pearl. And well, let's see. We're gonna go right here. And nothing. Okay, so all we need to do now is go straight to the old timer. And he is going to be making us some pretty cool uh, nifty item right here. So let's go right ahead. Go straight to him. He's like, oh, hey, Shoshalt and Shoshell. And enough of them, too. Would you like me to make you a, sh a shell bell with them? Yes. Okay, make me the shell bell. And bam, we got ourselves a shell bell. This right here will help uh, heal up our Pokemon during battles, which is always great. And, well, the, these, I, yeah, of course, the ingredients uh, happen every single day, so you can get as many uh, Shell Bells as you want for your Pokemon. And I believe that is pretty much it right there. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole this whole uh, episode right here. A long one, but still, it's, uh, still it was an adventurous one, especially with the, with the amnesia and all that stuff, but... Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that is pretty much it, guys. So in the next episode, we will be going into the Moss Deep City Gym. And we will be facing the, the gym leader right there. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for having patience, as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we take on the Moss Deep City Gym Leader. See you guys.